This video contains spoilers for the latest episode of The Mandalorian, so if you haven't watched it yet, I suggest shutting off this video until you have. With that out of the way, let's get started. The latest episode of The Mandalorian left us on a cliffhanger about Moff Gideon. At the end of the episode, we see New Republic starfighter Carson Teva come across a battle-ravaged Lana-class shuttle floating in space. After doing some investigation, he concludes that it is indeed the prisoner transport that was transporting Moff Gideon to the New Republic War Tribunal. It seems all the rumors of Moff Gideon going missing are true. However, the discovery of a piece of Beskar in the wall of the Landa shuttle makes this revelation all the more intriguing. While Bo-Katan's sect of the Mandalorians became mercenaries after the season 2 finale of the Mandalorian, I highly doubt they are the ones responsible for this. Most, if not all, Mandalorians blame Moff Gideon for the destruction of their homeworld, Mandalore. Another good point is that Beskar has become extremely scarce among Mandalorian coverts and the Watch with the Empire ransacking and stealing most of the Beskar from Mandalore. Beskar has become so scarce with the surviving Mandalorians that many wear plastoid armor now instead of Beskar. As seen in the first season of The Mandalorian, the Imperial Remnants have a stock of Beskar armor to use as currency among many other reasons. We also see High Magistrate Morgan Elsmith wield a staff made out of pure Beskar in Season 2. All of these signs are not of The Mandalorians, but of Thrawn in my opinion. The show is obviously setting up the first season of Ahsoka and Thrawn as the main villain. My hypothesis is that Thrawn is purposely planning the best guard to frame the Mandalorians for taking Moff Gideon. By pitting them together, he can have both the New Republic and Mandalorians fight to draw attention off of his return. If not this, it could be the Imperial Super Commandos, the Mandalorians that joined the Empire during Rebels, led by former Imperial Viceroy of Mandalore, Gar Saxon. It is one of these reasons, or it is the Dark Troopers from Season 2 of The Mandalorians that saved Moff Gideon. Their armor is made out of Beskar. Regardless, I do really think it's Thrawn setting up a distraction to the New Republic to make way for his return. I believe near the end of this season of The Mandalorian, we will see Thrawn or get a tease for the Ahsoka show coming out later this year. But I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think is the reason for Beskar being in the Battle Ravaged Landa shuttle? Let me know in the comments section below. Boys, that's it for this video. Stay awesome, and I will catch you in the next one. If you're looking for more Star Wars content, check out this video to dive deeper into a galaxy far, far away.